Hey guys, so I am back and I wanted to show you how to finish the bottom border of this pattern. In one of my earlier videos, I showed you how to do this mossy diamond pattern. And I wanted to show you how to replicate this border. This is actually the back of the pattern. So let me show you the front. So here's the front kind of looks like a carpet. This is the mossy diamond pattern. And today I'll be showing you how to do these reverse clove hitch knots and then the square knot border. So what I do is I actually do clove hitch knots instead of reverse clove hitch knots. So I turn my work around. So I turn them around. And I also start Instead of at the left, I start in the center. So with this clove hitch knot, you will want to take your first cord on the left and you will be knotting with all of these cords, clove hitch knots, all the way across. I am going to start in the middle because it provides me structure, like a beginning point that is where I want it to be. So I want this cord to run this length right here. I don't want it lower. I want it to start here and I want it to be even. So I start in the middle. So I take my filler cord and I take my first knotting cord and I do the diagonal clove hitch knot or clove hitch knot. Kind of find out where you want it to go. Tighten it. So of course this isn't going to be here. I will then pull it out and I want this cord to be straight. So I'll do a second cord going to the right just to provide more of a secure starting point. And then I'll work from right to left doing my clove hitch knots. So with each clove hitch knot it entails two knots, so here's your filler cord, here's your knotting cord. We'll bring it over, bring it through the loop, that's the first knot, second knot to tighten it. And don't worry about this, if you're doing this exact pattern, you'll be able to pull it through and tighten it, straighten it out in the end. This is just a fun little trick that I've learned, so just keep going. And just make sure you continue to do two knots per strand all the way across. So you can kind of pull this a little bit, kind of straighten this out. Do this one again, sorry. Okay, first loop. nice and straight and now you'll be able to it's easier to knot from left to right now that you have this straight line it kind of just adds on to the straightness 
unless you like intentionally hold your filler cord at an angle, like up. But for me, it's a lot easier to keep it straight going in the right direction. Maybe because I'm right-handed. Okay. Or maybe because the filler cord is off to the right. This is a linen cotton blend cord, so it has a lot of little linen pieces sticking out. I really like it. Okay. Last one. And so now, so again, this is the back. This is what it looks like on the front. So turn it back around. And I will continue with the same filler cord. Now I'll work from right to left. And you'll just want this snug up against the row above. And it kind of starts out going down a little, but once you add more knots to it, kind of mess with it, straighten it out, doing pretty tight, it'll straighten out. And you can tell if you've done, if you're getting in a groove and you've done three knots with one, it'll be lumpy. Again, this is a great little project if you want just, you know, a little project to keep your hands busy. If you have an hour or two to sit down and you just want to work on something, this is great. that up. Tighten. All right. And so just for the sake of making this video not too long, you'll repeat that two more times with the same filler cord going this way and going this way again on this side. And then you'll turn your work around, which I'll do now. See? 
right? And then, so you'll straighten all of this out. And to complete the border, mimicking the top border, I'm just going to do six square knots. So you take the first four, make your left facing half knot, right facing half knot, there's your square knot. When I started this project, I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing, so I am kind of running out of rope. Um, you can always add, you know, attach rope to it, um, but I started this project with two millimeter rope, 12 strands, each at seven feet. So. You might want to go up to seven and a half if you're doing this same design. Or maybe even eight if you want long fringe at the bottom. But that's that. So that's the completed design. Down here you'll have two more rows before you do the square knots. Uh, if you want to learn how to do the mossy diamond pattern, check out my mossy diamond pattern video. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below.